The topic of today's episode is walk forward analysis, sometimes called walk forward optimization. Now, don't confuse this with a simple walk forward validation phase. This is very different. There are many traders that believe walk forward analysis is the de facto method to optimize a strategy, and I would certainly put myself in that category. In fact, it's a subject that's very close to my heart because of the importance I believe it plays in the backtesting and optimization process. The reasoning behind that is that walk forward analysis provides a solution to a number of key issues that are inherent whenever you use the more simplistic optimization and walk forward process. So to find out just how it provides a solution to these, then stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into what walk forward analysis is all about. Sometimes this technique is called walk forward optimization or the multi stage step forward procedure. It was originally invented by Robert Pardo and it's also been written about in many books, including those by Perry Kaufman. Now, the key thing here is that walk forward analysis uses a multi stage approach to the whole of the optimization process. And the reason it does this is to increase the effectiveness of firstly identifying the most robust parameters, but also the approach does directly tackle two of the major issues that are encountered in optimization processes. And it's because of these two facts that it's considered by many to be the de facto approach to backtesting and optimization. So in order to understand the benefits of walk forward analysis, we first need to look at the traditional approach and look at the issues that are incumbent with this. So the normal approach encompasses two main phases. The first of these is the optimization and the second is the walk forward validation. Now, the historical price data that's used as part of the first phase is usually termed in sample and the price data used for the second phase is out of sample. And that, of course, is because the purpose of the first stage is to identify the most robust parameters for the trading system in question. Once we've obtained those optimal parameters, they're then passed forward into this walk forward validation phase where they're validated on historical data that they've never seen before. Now, I've talked about this approach previously in my previous videos, and of course, it does have many advantages. So, for example, the optimization period can usually be quite large, and my recommendation is that this should usually be approximately three times larger than your walk forward phase, but that really depends on how many parameters you're optimizing. But the fact that this can be a large period of time means that generally you can produce a large number of trades, and therefore the process has a better chance of being statistically significant. The other advantage, of course, is that it exposes your system to a wide variety of market conditions. So, for example, in this example here, where we've got a 7.5 year optimization, there would be bull markets, bear markets, times when the price wasn't really going anywhere, so it was trapped in a trading range, and also a wide variety of volatility. And that, of course, is really important if we're going to have a system that's able to cope with all of those different circumstances. Also, of course, if we're using a walk forward validation stage, which uses out of sample data, then this provides us with some level of validation that firstly, the parameters are robust and secondly, that overfitting has not occurred. But there's also a number of disadvantages with this simplistic approach. So firstly, the fact that the optimization has been subject to a number of different market regimes is really a double-edged sword. 
On one hand, it's good because we need to make sure that our system does get exposed to all of those different regimes. But the disadvantage of that is that the parameters that come out of the process are of course a compromise for all of those regimes combined. In reality, it will be one set of parameter values that would perform best in a bull market, another set of values that would perform better in a bear market, and yet another set that would perform best in a ranging market. So when the parameter values that are based on this compromise of all of the different regimes combined are put into our live trading account, they have a chance of performing okay whenever they encounter each of these regimes, but they're unlikely to excel in any of them. Another disadvantage is that the walk forward validation phase is relatively short. And when it's short, this means it doesn't encompass many trades. And when we don't have many trades, it means the statistical significance is not good. And so overall, this has the effect of reducing the confidence that we can have in both the system and also the parameter values that have come out of the process. Now, this, of course, becomes really important when we're trading in our live account, because if we experience a large drawdown, we need to have that confidence that this is just a drawdown and is not due to a failing system which has been overfitted. Now, because of these issues, one of the things we can attempt to do is to change the ratio of the optimization phase to the walk forward phase. But even this has compromises that we need to understand. So as an example, if you use a long optimization phase, you'll get more trades being generated, which means it's easier to achieve statistically significant predictions. But of course, the, the whole purpose of an optimization is to select the most robust parameters. And because this optimization has been subject to so many different types of market regime, it means that the parameter values that come out of the process are a compromise across each of those regimes. Therefore, when we trade them live or in the walk forward phase, it means they're not tuned in to what the market is doing right now. Okay, so to get over this problem, we could reduce the size of our optimization phase. But as soon as we do that, it's of course harder to achieve statistical significance because of the much lower number of trades that we're going to get in the optimization. But it does have that benefit of meaning that your parameters that come out of this phase are much more in tune with what the market's doing right now and therefore are likely to perform better both in the walk forward validation and also if we use them in live trading. But the hard truth around this is that neither of these approaches gives us the best of both worlds. And now if we turn our attention to the walk forward phase, as we've already said, this is usually much shorter than the optimization phase. And so the level of confidence we can have in the out of sample results is reduced. And when that happens, we have much less confidence that overfitting has not occurred. But there is an answer that addresses all of these compromises and issues that have been incumbent with the traditional approach. And in fact, walk forward analysis was originally designed to specifically enable a solution to these. So click top right now to go to the next part where I'll talk about exactly how it does this and talk you through the process of running a walk forward analysis.